So the first book that I got is The Traveling Cat Chronicles by Hiro Arikawa. And look at it. It's just so amazing. Okay, um... Can you hear that? I love it so much. It also has uh, an in... An in book? An in book bookmark? If I could say that. It's about Nana who is on a road trip with his master Satoru. Um, so his master Satoru is visiting um, three old friends from his youth, though Nana doesn't know why and Satoru won't say. So I think, I'm not sure, I think this is going to be a sad book as all um, animal related books are. Um, <laughs> but yeah, hopefully it's not, but yeah, I'm bracing myself for a very sad book. Um, because the back of the cat is, you know, turned towards the reader, so I'm guessing there's like, I don't know, an abandonment uh, subject, maybe? I don't know, or maybe it's just a cool aesthetic. <sighs> okay, look at this. Oh, look at, look at the pictures. It's really cool. Oh, wow. Yeah. So, I'm very much excited to read this. Um, okay, so it's translated from the Japanese by Philip Gabriel. It was first published in 2017, but this edition was reissued in 2018. Okay. So there's a prologue, the cat with no name. It says here, I am a cat, as yet I have no name. There's a famous cat in our country who once made this fairy statement. Hmm, okay, very interesting. Uh, I look forward to reading this. Um, you will notice that actually throughout this whole video, most of the books in my haul are cat related because, yeah, most of the books that I bought are cat books. Okay. The next one that I have is Before the Coffee Gets Cold, Tales from the Coffee. As you can see, it has another cat on the cover. So it says here, um, every now and then a customer like Gotaru would come to a cafe after hearing the rumor that you could travel back in time. Yeah, it's very interesting. I'm guessing um, it's going to be like, you know, people who get to revisit their past uh, in this cafe. Yeah, so it's by Toshikazu Gawaguchi. And actually, it's already the second book in the series. The first. The first um, book is Before the Coffee Gets Cold, and so this is the second book. And it's translated from Japanese by Jeffrey Trosselu, Trosselu, Troslo, <laughs> uh, published in 2017, and this um, this edition published in 2020. So uh, here we have a relationship map of characters, and yeah. It, it kind of reminds me of this um, film of, in, of one of our local films here uh, about a guy who um, one night goes into this mysterious bar and the, this waiter prepares a, a cup of tea, a cup of, I think it's a cup of tea or some drink to, to him and he got transported um, back in time. But it wasn't to his time, it was like to his um, past lives. So yeah, the movie is called Only Life. It's a Filipino film, and yeah, it was it was surprisingly good. Yeah, yeah. I'm guessing it's kind of like this also. So maybe, um, yeah. So okay. The next book is The Girl Who Reads on the Metro by Christine Ferrey Fleury. Ferrey Fleury. Um, yeah, so it says here, it's for anyone who likes to end a book with a smile on their face. Okay, so, um, I don't really know that much about this book. Uh, it says here, it's the French phenomenon ready to charm book lovers everywhere. Uh, yeah, I actually don't know why I bought this one because it doesn't have a cat. Um, it's not necessarily on my reader. I'll just read the description here. Um, have you heard the, of the principle of releasing books into the wild? When Juliet takes the metro to her loathed office job each morning, her only escape is in books. She heavily reads on her journey and imagines what her fellow commuters' choices might say about them. Then she meets Holy Man, the mysterious owner of the most enchanting bookshop Juliet has ever seen. 
and things will never be the same again. For Solomon believes in the power of books to change the course of life, and he's about to change Juliet's forever. Okay, so that's pretty interesting. Okay, so it's also um, it's originally French, and it's translated by Ross Schwartz, uh, published in 2017, and um, this edition was published in 2019. Okay, so I think this is going to be a fast read. Um, the font is not too small, and you know the indentations are also uh, quite big. So, so yeah, it's probably going to be a fast read. Okay, so this picture of the author. Um, yeah, and don't we really know that much about this? But I guess yeah, I'm going to go on, going to go rely on this description here. Next book is Convenience Store Woman by Sayaka Murata. Um, it has a fish. Again, I don't know why I bought this. It doesn't have a cat on its cover. But yeah, I'm guessing that I bought this because it's really sad and interesting. Okay, so um, Keiko doesn't fit in. She's 36 years old. She's never had a boyfriend. And she's been working in the same convenience store for 18 years. She, her parents wish she'd get a better job. Her parents wonder why she won't get married. But Keiko knows what makes her happy. And she's not going to tell anyone to take her away from her convenience store. So yeah, I guess, you know, it's going to be uh, quite a funny, uh, funny novel. You know, she's her own. She's her own independent woman. Okay, so it's also originally Japanese and is translated by Jini Tapli Takemori. So it's, it was um, published, uh, it was written in 2016 and uh, this edition was published in 2018. Um, so yeah, I think uh, like the like the last one is also going to be quite a fast read. Um, I think I'm gonna have a good time with this one. Oh, there's also a picture of the author here. Yay! So, yeah. So that's Canadian Swore Woman. This has a cat on his cover. Okay, so we're back on track. <laughs> so it's If Cats Disappeared from the World by Genki Kawamura. And it has over 1 million copies sold in Japan, so yes, it's must be popular. I mean, look at that cat on the cover. How could you not buy this book? Okay. <laughs> okay, um, let's see. Let's see. Oh, it's a very short description. What would you sacrifice for an extra day of life? The devil picked that moment to announce in his usual cheerful manner the next item he'd make disappear. I couldn't think about anything anymore, so I said yes, just like that. And at that point, she thought the thought that it could happen to my cat Cabbage had never crossed my mind. <gasps> okay, so, it, oh, so yeah, because if its cat disappeared, if cats disappeared from the world. Um. Okay, so it's about this young man whose days are numbered, and he's estranged from his family. So he lives alone with his cat Cabbage for company, and I guess you know the devil appears to him. You know as the devil would normally <laughs> so yeah i guess it's oh it would be such an interest this is such an interesting book huh. so it's also originally japanese is translated by eric Selland. um it was originally published in 2012 and uh this edition was published in 2018 so okay here's a short introduction if gas disappeared from the world how would the world change and how would my life change and if I disappeared from the world, well, I suppose nothing would change at all. I'm guessing, yeah, it's almost, it would almost be a fast read also. So here's a picture of the author. Uh, yeah, um, it sold over 1 million copies in Japan. <gasps> Look at that. Look at that kitty. <coughs> if gas disappeared from the world, I'd be really so... I'd be so devastated, <laughs> I guess. If I didn't know the cats exist, then yeah, it would probably be okay, but if, like, you know, like, right now, and they would just instantly disappear, I would be so, so sad. Okay, so that's for The next one is On Cats by Charles Bukowski. Bukowski? Bukowski? Bukowski. Yeah, it's a, it's another cat, kitty. It's a, it's a grown-up cat. It's an old cat. It's also a bit short it's a thin novel and it's not it's not actually a novel it's a collection i think it's a collection of essays and poems 
Yeah, it's a collection of essays and poems. So, for Charles Bukowski, there was something majestic in elemental bacats. He considered them to be sentient beings whose searing gaze could penetrate deep into our being. Cats seen to us, they are onto something. On Cats brings together Bukowski reflections of the ruthless, resilient, indigent, and endearing creatures he so admired. Okay. So, yeah. Very much decided in this. This would actually be the first work by Charles Bukowski that I would read. I've never had, um, I've never owned any books of his before. So, yeah. Uh, this was first published in 2015, but this edition was published in 2016. And here's the author. <gasps> here's Charles Bukowski with his cat. Oh, So cute. Okay, I'm so going to read his works just because of this picture because like, you know, it's really a person who loves his cats. <laughs> okay, so that's, that's on Cats by Charles Bukowski. The next book that I have, this is the second to the last book, it's The Nakano Thrift Shop by Hiromi Kawakami. I also don't know why I bought this. I think I just bought this because it has a really cute cover. Um, because it's a woman who is flying. <laughs> towards the train i don't know um okay so love is found love is often found in unlikely places but could there be anywhere else less likely than the kano thrift shop inside is a jumble of bric-a-brac presided over by enigmatic ladies man mr nakano and frequented by a host of curious customers all with their own dramas and tales of loss yet it is here that hitomi a restless young woman meets takeo who's a drop whose abrupt and taciturn manner she finds, to her consternation, increasingly disarming. Okay, so, I think this is a pretty... This is thicker than um, the, and the rest of the books. It's probably the um, longest one. I'm not sure. So, uh, the Nikon Fair Shop is originally in Japanese and is translated by Alison Markin Powell. Um, it was originally published in 2005, and this edition was published in 2016. Uh, yeah. So, not much I can say about this. Yeah, so I'll just leave a review in the next video. I'll review this. Okay. And for the last book, it's The Gas Cat by Takashi Hiraide. Look at that. Look at the cover. Look at the cute eyes. <laughs> so it says here is a Sunday Times top 10 bestseller. Um, and PR says it's a rare treasure, beautiful and profound, whether you're a cat lover or not, don't pass this one up. Okay. So let look at the cover. Mm, the green eyes. <laughs> okay, so it's a guest cat. It's a pretty thin book also, so it probably is a fast read. But so it's about a couple in the 30s who live in a small rented cottage in a quiet part of Tokyo and they work at home as freelance writers but they no longer have very much to say to one another. Oh, it's really sad. Okay, so but one day a cat invites itself into their small kitchen, a guest cat. Uh, she is a beautiful creature, she leaves but the next day comes again and again and then again and again. New small joys accompany the cat. The days have more light and color. Life suddenly seems to have more promise for the husband and wife. They can walk in together, talk and share stories of the cat and its little ways, play in the nearby garden, and etc. But then something happens that will change everything again. Oh no. I think the cat is gonna die. I really think the cat's gonna die. But yes, cat originally in Japanese and translated by Eric Seland. Wait. He translated also if gases appear from the world. Oh, that's interesting. Okay, so um it was originally published in 2014, but oh this edition was also published in 2014. That's cool. It's pretty short book, although it has a smaller font than the other books, but yeah. Oh no. Okay, look at it. 